Welcome back everybody to Factorio. My name is Tom and this is part four in the abandoned rail base and hopefully this will be the final episode and conclude the tutorial series here for Factorio. That will lead into free to play where we will try to launch the rocket. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, in the last episode, the biters came on the offensive and attacked my mining base. We have two electric miners that are dismantled because of them. Up to the north, we do have the biter nests, and there's a lot of them up there. And we need to head back to the main base, and we need to get some turrets, place them down over here, so that uh, we can continue... Um, excuse me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Okay, just keep going. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go grab the turrets. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is hard to drive. I'm not used to this. Okay, here we go. Let's pick up the items we need to grab some turrets. So we need some copper plates. And we also need to pick up some ammo. So we have some copper plates in here. We'll pick those up. And why not? Let's pick up some ammo if there is any. 53 firearm. We'll get three of those. Craft up the ammo. Let's get back in the vehicle. And place those down to defend the electric miners. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think we are automating the steel, so we need 200 steel and 200 solar panels. we got to figure out how to automate those, too. There's so many trees around here. We'll just make a way through them. You know, we'll just... There we go. Mow them down. Ah, uh, yes. Very nice. Okay. Out we go, and let's place down our machine turrets. Okay, and I'm going to grab the ammo and distribute that across all of the turrets. Do we have any in here? Nope, that's it, guys. So let's hope that that's all I need to defend the base. Okay, let's go. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's park the car there. And yeah, we have all of this iron ore here still, so we're, we're, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. We got all these iron plates. Look at the steel. How much steel do we have? We almost have 200 steel, guys. Okay, so I think we should work on the piercing round magazines. We need 200 of those. Let's grab an assembly machine and see what we need to automate those. And... We need some iron plates. Well, we got plenty of those up here. All right. And we'll craft up some of those. And let's see what we need. We need research. Guys, we need research. It's not available. Um. Okay, let's hit T and... Where is the ammo we need? These are projectile. Expand your inventory. Military 2. Oh, there it is. There it is. This is what we're looking for. Oh, and grenades. Oh my goodness, there's grenades in this game? Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so we're going to queue that up. We'll queue that up. Do we have... We, we almost have 200. We almost have 200. Guys, we have 200. So, all right. One out of the five components we need to finish up this episode. So, we'll head up here and place those 200 steel. 
inside the car. Excellent. And then we just unlocked military too. Excellent. And let's begin automating some piercing round magazines. So I'm going to grab the assembly machine and we'll just stick a couple over here. And there it is, guys. There it is. So we need the steel plates so we can branch those over like this. This means we are going to grab some underground belts. Okay. And then with that, we should come under and around. Like this. Okay. And then we bring those over. Okay, and up, up, up. Probably only need one of these machines, and we need some conveyor belts. And we can grab the conveyor belts off of the belt over here. Excellent, and... So we'll do three lines of, no, two lines of belts. So one here, one here, and one here. Because we do need three products. Okay, and then we will place an inserter at the box to the belt. And that will offload the steel. And then we'll place a box here to start storing the piercing round magazines. Okay, and then let's add a long inserter and a short insert. And then we'll need a short inserter here or just a regular one. Okay, now let's figure out how we can get the ammo over here. That's right over here. The issue is we don't have iron plates up there, so we're going to have to re-automate that. And we can just directly feed it in like this. So we do something like this, and then like this. And then let's branch off the plates, like so. Because the rifle ammo, standard rifle ammo, only needs iron plates. And then let's place a power pull here. And begin automating rifle ammo. That will go in there. So all we need is to get the copper plates in here. All we need to do is get the copper plates in here. And we have a bunch over here. So... I, boy, yeah, we could come down like this. And over. Let's grab some more conveyor belts. Okay. And let's come underneath. Like this. Like that, and over. Ooh, wrong location. Wrong location. We need to come right here. Like that. Yeah, that's gonna work. Oh, perfect. That lined up very perfectly. Okay, guys, uh, uh, we are automating the piercing round magazines. And we can begin storing that up. And just like that, guys, for the very first time, we are automating piercing round magazines in Factorio. Wow, who would ever thought? 
Okay, and so the next step is to get the gear wheels. And we can easily do that. I think we might have some in here. We have a hundred. So we need another hundred. And I'm going to place those gears into the vehicle. Ooh, actually, we only need four more gears. So we'll get four more gears. There we go, guys. All right, two out of five components. Two out of five components. Oh, we need 100, 250. Okay. Okay. We're very close to that. And then we need to do circuits as well. Okay. So we need 30 more gears. And I think we should probably automate them. Oh my goodness, we're out of... We're out of ingots. So I'm going to get into the train. Um, how do I move this guy? Do I need to get more engines? I got 34. I need some pipes and then we can build a second engine here. So there's a hundred pipes. Let's stick those in here. Grab those engines. That should give me 48. And then we should be able to build another engine. We'll do a push pull engine. So 30 steel and 10 electronic. Well, we have those steel up here. I'm not sure how much. Okay. I think that should be enough. Now we need 10 circuits. Well, we got the circuits here. And there we go. We can craft up another engine and then we can place it as a push and pull. Okay, uh, where is it at? Here it is. And we need to give it some fuel. Okay, good. So that's that. Iron ore mine. What's the issue? No stops with this name exist. So we need stops. And I thought I put two stops there. I thought I put two stops there. So we'll head over here. And we'll begin loading up. Okay. So as you can see, I think we need a stop on the other side of the track. And that requires some iron plates. So we're going to let this load up here. Yeah, and we need another car, but that takes a lot more iron and steel as well, which we just don't have at the moment. Okay, okay. Um, let's get back in the train. And let's take what we have back over to the factory. Yeah, the train is super cool. I really like the train. Okay, so we'll offload that. That will begin producing more iron plates, and then more steel beams. How are we doing with the piercing ammo? Not too much, just because we don't have the steel. 
or the iron plates, excuse me. We could grab the steel off of the belt here. And we could buy another locomotive, but I need some plates. So I'm going to grab the plates off of the belt. Like this. And do we have the research for solar panels? No. So we better just queue that up as well. Because we're going to have to automate 200 of those solar panels. Okay, and can we buy... Yes, we can buy another one. Okay, I'm going to... Delete that. Let's place down... This guy. Okay, and then the engine. Oh, okay, there we go. And then fuel. Okay, and then we need to create a stop. Oh, we have some stops. Okay, let's head back up here. So I'm going to head over here. Okay, we'll load that up. I think we need to place a stop right here. And that should signal the train to stop right here. And then it will load this all up. And, and this guy has a stop too. Okay, I just set that to automatic. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, adios, amigo. Wow, look at all these enemies, guys. We really got to get out of here. This is getting a little too hostile. And making me really nervous. And I'm trying to figure out how to automate this train. But it's hard to learn this mechanic in a stressful environment. So, I'm just trying to get through this tutorial and then get to free to play where we can kind of slow down and really explore the mechanics of Factorio. And, you know, I don't know why he's not wanted to go. And the best way to figure this out is to, you know, do it in a free to play. Wait, that's not right. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. That's going to work. And so we are automating some piercing round magazines. And let's get this train back up where it needs to go. Don't tell me what mistake I'm making here, guys. Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out in a free-to-play. I'm surprised they don't have any tutorials for the trains. So we'll let that load up. Excellent. And we can begin thinking about how we can automate solar energy. We probably have all the gear wheels we need at home. The electronic circuits, we need 500 of those. So I'm going to place down a box to begin storing those. All right, here we are. A lot of walking, a lot of walking. I need a jetpack. Guys, I need a jetpack. 
Are there any jetpacks in this game? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much ammo? 71. And we have our circuits here. Let's begin storing our circ circuits. There we go. Okay. All right, so what about the gears? Do we have any gears? We have some plates here. A lot of them. And, you know, we, we can just craft up those gears we need. We'll just handcraft those. And we'll get that into the vehicle. Because at any moment, the natives can invade us. And we're just not ready for it. We're just not ready for it. Um, so we can start placing in the chips and the gears. Oh, we need one more gear, guys. One more gear. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys. Two out of five. Two out of five. And we're working on these last two. And then we got to do the solar panels. That's the final one. We're doing that research right now. Yeah, we're going to kind of repeat what the last two engineers did. We're, we're going to automate what we need to automate and abandon this rail base for the second time. <laughs> no one, no one wants to be here. No one wants to be here, which is understandable. Um, why aren't you grabbing? You need iron plates. Yep. Okay. We'll craft up a hundred of those chips. And you know what? And craft up more of those. That will help us beat the mission. And I think we're ready to go grab that train. So we'll go back over there and grab it. And I'm going to jump into the vehicle. It's a bit quicker. Got to be careful because we have delicate components stored in this vehicle. We definitely don't want to crash. We're still loading the iron ore over here. Let's get in here. And let's offload all of this. Oh, I can I notice the train is moving a bit slower because we have the iron ore in here, which is a really nice touch. I think that's really cool. So we'll offload the iron ore or the yeah, the iron ore. Just like that. We got a bunch. Okay, almost done with the solar energy. I feel uncomfortable with that car up there. Really not too smart of me to do. But I'm going to risk it. I'm going to throw the dice and I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Right, guys? I don't know. This is a lot of offloading we have to do. I don't know. I think I'm going to go grab it. I'm not going to risk it. So again, we'll go up to the abandon well it's not abandoned anymore but it will be soon once we get out of here uh-oh guys i hope they're not at oh my goodness i think they could be attacking my vehicle oh my goodness guys oh well, it looks like they're dead so that's good news let's hope they didn't kill my vehicle Oh my gosh, they were so close to my vehicle. Look at that. My lasers took them out. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't, don't gamble, guys. Don't gamble. We got lucky. We got lucky. If the natives were smart, they would have taken out the vehicle. <laughs> oh.
Let's just park it right in the base here. There we go. Um, I don't know. This is really not too safe. Maybe I should park it next to the turrets. Okay. There we go. Let's place in the chips. Oh, there we go. And we're still offloading the iron ore. How are we looking on the armor piercing? Looking pretty good. Almost done with the solar energy and then we can begin automating all that. Got 70 more electronics. And um, we really need to think about how we're going to get the plates over here. So I am going to build some splitters. And we'll just split off. Like this. And we need some belts. Alright guys, solar energy is completed. And then we'll just come underneath like this. Okay, and then we'll go right in like that. And we'll bring it up here. We'll delete this and then we'll just connect the plates there. So now we have a little supply of plates incoming to continue automating the circuit boards because we need 500 of those guys. So, yeah, we need to feed the machine. Okay, excellent, excellent. And up here, let's place in some more circuit boards, 218. Good, good. And I think it's time... I think it's time to automate those solar panels here we are we need electronic circuits steel plates and copper ingots okay so let's begin working on that we can bring the copper ingots over here and we'll just branch off from the splitter And we'll do some threading here with the belt. Like so. And in they go. And up and over. And there we go. So we got one of the components here. So that will get the copper in there. So now we need to get the steel up here. And the steel is actually feeding the piercing ammo. So we'll keep the steel on there for now. And wait until that's done. Can I actually handcraft any of those? If I grab some copper plates, I could. So we'll just go on the belt and grab some. And we'll just craft some of those up. Just kind of help speed the process up. And I think it's time to go and... Okay, there we go. Now we're offloading some of those. So I'm going to jump in and let's go pick up another supply of iron ore.
Okay, good. And we'll let that sit and load up, and we'll head back to the base. We're almost halfway there for the electronic circuits. 200 solar panels, that's crazy. But I guess we need it for the next base. Yeah, we're just surrounded by the natives. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty long tutorial. It's making it really long because we need all these supplies. Okay. All right, and we have almost 200. Almost 200. We're very close with the piercing round magazines and then we can switch gears with the iron or the steel plates. Let's get the circuit boards up here. Well, we should get our 500 circuit boards first. So I'll grab those. And let's stick the those uh, circuit boards into the vehicle. Guys, circuit boards are done. So now we can redirect the circuit boards to the solar panels. Okay. So I'm just going to delete this and we are going to reroute all this. And yeah, this is just a lot of spaghetti. A lot of spaghetti. And we need it up here. Actually, we could just grab it off this main belt. So we'll just combine them the copper plates and the circuits like this okay and then that will just go right up there and feed the solar panels all we need is to get the steel up here we can prep the steel um <laughs> we gotta feed it through here this is nuts this is getting really nutty um so we could go like up here and up here over here like that and over like that okay so let's uh feed it so go boom it all the way up we'll bend it around and then we just need to go around like this and up and through the underground belt and in over like that okay guys that's it that's it and then we can place a box here and the solar panels will go in there and uh, once we get all of the uh, piercing ammo which i think we probably have enough now we do so let's begin rerouting the steel plates up here to automate the final component which are the solar panels. We'll take those and then we will head up to the vehicle and place those in there. There we have it, guys. All right. We only have one more component left here, which are the solar panels. We got some steel 
in our inventory. So we're just going to stick those right in there and we'll begin automating the solar panels, guys. We'll begin automating the solar panels. All right, that's the last thing. And this is going to take a while, probably 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I don't know. So I think what I will do here, guys, is I will make the executive decision to place a cut in here and then when i come back we will have the 200 solar panels i'll load those into the vehicle and hopefully that is the end of the mission which i think it is and then guys we are going to be moving into free to play the attendant way to play factorio i'm so excited guys i'm so excited I can't wait. So this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. Yeah, I'm going to... Guys, I'm going to be taking my time in the free-to-play. I am... You know, I, I tend to get pressured to move quickly through Satis or through Factorio. But I, 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 I need to just take my time on all of the components. Just to totally understand the mechanics. I just love playing that way. And I hope you guys enjoy me doing that it's kind of slow and maybe it's you know a bit too much for experienced players but I i'm just gotta play it my way and hopefully you guys will will like it <laughs> okay like like right now i feel pressure to beat this tutorial i would like to spend a bit more time learning the train mechanic here but you know i'm fine with pushing that over to the free to play um okay i'm gonna place a cut in here shortly i'm just gonna solve this issue This coal. Okay. What I'm going to do is reroute this like this. And like this. So that we can split this in half like that. All right, that's much better. So I could just feed this in here. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good for now. And that should feed everything else here. And I am going to really push everything to the steel over here. I want all of this to get to the steel. All the plates must focus on the steel. <laughs> Which they're all going to the steel. Besides this, right? He Wait, where is this going? Oh, that's feeding... Okay, yeah, that's feeding the circuits, which is going up here. How many do I have in here now? I got 12. So, <laughs> as you can see, this is going to take some time. I could feed these like that, so they constantly have enough like this, and then we can bolster the production. And I'll just place down a few more of these. Like that, and let's get some power over here.
Okay. Good. All right. Yeah, we still have enough steel in here. Barely enough. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to place a cut here and then I will see you on the other side where I get to the 200 solar panels. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while and we have almost 200 solar panels here. We need one more solar panel and we can get the hell out of here. And I think we have the last solar panel. Here we go, guys. There's 50, 100, 150, 200. All right, guys. 200 solar panels let's place it in the vehicle and end this tutorial there we are guys that's it i'm ready to go congratulations you have reached the end of the tutorial you are free to continue playing on this low level as long as you like or exit and build a new factory in free to play mode oh i'm absolutely going to do that that's what we're going to do next guys is we are going to start the beginning of our blind playthrough in the free to play mode free to play is the main way to of playing the game you can start with only a few supplies and you must build up your factory with the goal of launching the rocket into space yeah that's right guys once we launch the rocket if we do get there We'll launch the rocket into space and that will end the playthrough of Factorio. You will research and explore the full feature set that Factorio offers to help grow your production and defend it from the natives who do not like you. Thanks for playing the Factorio team. Continue. All right, guys, that is it. We beat all of the tutorials, guys. We, we beat... All of the tutorials. Take a look at that. All the tutorials are completed. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's episode. In the next episode, we will begin to play Factorio in free-to-play mode. I'm so excited. We got a lot of work to do ahead of us. And we're going to launch that rocket, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this video. If you did, like Hit the like button and subscribe to keep up with future episodes. And if you'd like to join the community, the Discord is in the link or in the description. You guys have a wonderful day there. Take care. Bye-bye.